Imagine you've come out in the morning to take your car for driving to go home, to drop the kids to school, whatever it is that you need your car for. And when you look inside, the battery's not charged. Left the car charging all night, but the battery's not charged. Well, that's exactly the reason why we're here today. This EV right behind us, uh, Hyundai Ionic Electric, uh, has a problem with charging. So you will connect the charger, but nothing happens. You can hear the locks locking, but then very quickly, within two, three seconds, it just unlocks the, the handle again. So it's not accepting charge. Let's try to find out exactly what's wrong with this EV, and let's just fix it. We've confirmed the issue. I'd like to take an approach on taking the diagnostic machine and finding out exactly what cause we have to see if there's anything pointing in the direction of what the issue might be. And another interesting thing is that the BMS, so the battery management system, doesn't respond to the diagnostic machine. Can time out and can time out on the battery management system. Right, so the problem now is with the can. But because the BMS is not responding to any communications, I would like to start with that. So we want to investigate, like visually check that BMS to see what is happening there. Because the BMS is inside of the high voltage battery, now that we are connected into the can line, can high, can low, and we have a clear image of what's happening with the communication there, I can clearly tell you that's screwed. So if my theory is correct, like 99% of the times, if I disconnect this, we should see the communications being reinstalled there, like we can see the communications going on. And is out, 100% correct. We established the problem is inside of the battery, most likely with that BMS, because the, 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 the way the waveform on the can is showing, I don't believe we have an issue with the wiring. So we're gonna go ahead now and replace that module and then we will do the final test, which is replacing the module, connecting the plug back again and seeing if the communications are still there. Let's back in and communication is still good. So now, that we established that the communication is good, everything is working. I'm 99% sure again that once we put that charger back in, it will start charging. Yeah, we have charge, so it's charging. So as you can see in there, if this thing focus, we have 12 amps, 2.86 kilowatts going in, and 239 volts. 